Dice is on the beat. guys this your girl Chantel and I'm back with another video from the title below you can tell this is going to be a unboxing kind of I already opened the bag but a review on a preload bag that I just got off of Macari from the title below you can tell this is the delightful MM and it has been replaced by the graceful MM so um yeah let me just show you the bag this beauty and y'all if i'm spinning it's because of this chair that i'm in it's actually my work chair but yeah so i did kind of already open the bag the box or whatever um and i got it from macari it came wrapped up in another bag she the seller did let me know that she did not have the original dust bag but she would send the bag in a dust bag and um so she sent the bag in this dust bag which is just a kate spade dust bag and it has the pink strap which is cute um it's a really big bag so it do fit the bag that i purchased um and yeah I am in love and then also in the bag was the receipt um so again this bag is it's a vintage bag um it was made in France um the 48 week of 2010 so please take into consideration this bag is 11 years old however it is in wonderful condition um i don't regret the purchase at all um she did send the receipt she told me that she purchased it on a trip in michigan and she will send the original receipt so again little bit time prices raise every year that's why buying designer bags is more so of an investment because you can get your money back um for the most part or close to it even after wear so this is just the receipt and now I just broke my nail cleaning up uh, my boys bathroom so yeah excuse the bandage on my finger um she purchased this bag March the 24th 2011 um and the price at that time was 1020 so this is Currently the bag that I'm carrying, which is just a Michael Kors bag, and it has this bag charm on there. I'm not going to put this bag charm on there because I don't want to dress that bag down. But, um, yeah, the same color pretty much, but your girl is ready to wear that bag. So, yeah, let me see this. That is the bag that I'm carrying, and I um, did purchase a bag organizer off of Etsy again this bag is just a deep hole um similar to the never fools um similar to the artsy no I think artsy do have compartments on the inside um but so yeah and without it of course whatever you put in the bag will go like this or this last and I just like structure to my bag so I did order an organizer off of Etsy and let's open it. I would have got some scissors out of my sewing room. $34 and change. Not my hair is getting worse. It didn't take too long for it. It's a, a minute for it to ship, but once it shipped, it didn't take too long. So I think this took maybe. 
a week, which isn't too bad um, for it to come. And they have them pretty much for the sizes. Like, so you just put the bag that you're looking to get the organizer for and the size. So, of course, you know, speedies have different sizes. And um, never full have different sizes. The graceful have different sizes. Where's my scissors, Lord? And I have the sandstone cover um, because I wanted a color to go with the bag. I do have um, the Speedy 35 and I have a red organizer for that one. And I did a what's in my bag on that bag as well. So you can go look at my previous videos to look at that bag if you would like. This is a and the brand is Ow 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 Bag Organizer. And it's say welcome to the Owl family. Thank you so much for your shopping. I hope you like your product. If you live, if you have, it's supposed to say have, but it's a live. If you have any problem with your organizer, please contact me first. I'll keep you as I'll help you as soon as possible and work for your satisfaction. Best wishes to you and your loved ones. Oh, that's a nice note. Let's just hope I don't have any problems because I don't want to see the bed and I don't want to contact her other day during the review. This bag has a lot of compartments. Um, it looks like it's going to be too small for the delightful MM, but we will see. Um, these are all the compartments. So there's two big compartments, two cup holder compartments, um, two back compartments. There's this compartment, which I'm quite sure I'm going to put my iPad in there. And then there's two more compartments in here. Um... I love water, so carrying two bottles of water was very much satisfying. So let's just try to put it in here. Yeah, I'm so excited to carry this bag. So there is structure, but it don't fit. Like, hmm, I got a bottle of water. It's not like it's structured, but it's it still got that looseness to it. I don't know. I might send it back, but it, I picked a light for MM which is the bag that I have. So I don't know if I should go up a size, um, if I should just keep this little extra room and see how it really fits. Um, it goes with the inside. Well, it's not really the color, but it's okay. Um, I like the compartments in it. 
excuse to storage for me. <laughs> so yeah. We will see, but this is the bag. Again, this is the Louis Vuitton. Um, let me do this with my thumbnail. But this is the Louis Vuitton Delightful MM um, and the Owl Bag Organizer on the inside from XC. I will try to link it below. Um, of course, the bag I got from Macari. Um, again, that's just a pre website. So, of course, the bag isn't <laughs> available anymore because your girl got it. And there's a deep, one deep pocket on the inside of this bag. So, I am going to just keep the receipt in there. I don't plan on um, reselling this bag. I really plan on keeping it. And for this bag to be 11 years old, I must say, I'm very satisfied. Of course, there's like um, where around the edges but you have to think it's meant to be carried under your arms um i'm gonna take a few pictures with the bag and possibly oops uh, possibly um upload it in this video if not i will do a review on the bag after maybe a i don't know a week or two maybe longer than that just so I can get the feel of the bag um this is my first hobo bag hobo style bag so just so I can get the feel of it um see how I want to rock it but so far I am satisfied with the purchase um I would say if you want to get into luxury designs but you kind of don't want to spend all that money which if you could find nice pre love bags and save your coins, like it ain't no sense of spending two thousand dollars on a bag when you could spend a thousand on a bag and pocket the other thousand in the bag. You, you know what I'm saying? So, um, but again, if you have it and that's your preference, go ahead since like you can do it. Um, but if you're just getting into luxury designs and you kind of want to see especially when it comes to Louis Vuitton and the patina with the bachetta um I would say maybe a pre-love just so you can see how the oils in your skin um can mess up the bag just so you can see how the rain um can mess up the bag ink stains anything like that just so you can learn how to really um clean the bags condition the bags treat the bags um, because again, these bags are not cheap. Even pre-love bags is not cheap. Um, so yeah, I would say go that route. And there's plenty of sites you can get pre-love. Uh, Macari, Poshmark, The Real Rio, um, Tracy. And I'm quite sure there's some more. Um, out there, but those are just some that I really look into when purchasing the pre love bags or pre loved items. Also, you can get it um, off eBay. I did purchase my PM Agenda, which is in the monogram. Oh, by the way, my bag is in the monogram print, so I did purchase the um, PM Planner in the monogram, and I actually use that as a wallet when I'm carrying my Speedy, and I will use it as a wallet also when I'm carrying my delightful so yeah other than that until next time you guys i really just wanted to share sorry i didn't do an unboxing when i first got the bag with your girl was too excited i wanted to open it i wanted to see i wanted to like play but i have not worn it yet i was waiting on the organizer and now that the organizer came which it came today i'm going to switch out my bag so i will be wearing it all this week however i work from home so your girl don't be going nowhere but um <laughs> So I will be switching it out this week and taking it when I run errands. Until next time, stay true, be you, be blessed. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace. Oh, this finger ugly.